Hey YouTubers. Alright, we got a problem on Mr. Wentworth here. So this is the one thing that I didn't check after I restored everything on the boat. Because it looked good. These are the scuppers on the back of this Kenner. And um, this guy who owned the boat before me, this had this inside there. Now these go on the outside. And it was glued down pretty well. Looked like it was sealed. And then he had this on the back side. And by the way, these ball scrapers work very well. And he had it all gooped up and didn't appear to be leaking. Well, just recently I had uh, looked at it. And I didn't like, like the way the sealant looks, so I decided to pull it off. And here's what I found. Put this back inside. This was in like that. But if you'll come back here, it doesn't go all the way through. This is not cool. And what's worse, and that's not so bad, but he didn't have a bunch of 3M 5200 or 4200 around there. He had some in there, but not enough, and this was a little damp, and, I, and this is not good for your transom. So I'm going to let it dry out a few days, and I see he put some, looks like some drywall screws in here holding that plastic ball scupper on, which I'm going to have to probably drill out. Not a good problem. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna take some cheap Bondo fiberglass resin and some acetone and thin it down. I'm gonna scrape all the crud out of here. I'm gonna turn these around the back side, put them in this way with the Lexan washers. Obviously the nut's not gonna be on there. I'm gonna bring them out flush with the hole, and I'm gonna. And after the resin dries, I'm gonna stick it in there, and I'm gonna fill that with 5200 or 4200. I haven't decided yet. So I'll either use this or this. And on the outside, I'll put this Flowmax ball scrapper on the back, and we'll be ready, set to go. So that's where we are right now. I'll get back with you. So we're back. Got it cleaned up. Just went on and ground down the, those bolts a little bit, clean that up, put some, um, it's still tacky, put some thin fiberglass resin in there, and um, we're going to let it dry. Might hit that with some marine tex, or I've got some gel coat patch, hadn't decided yet, probably marine tex. And other other side, pretty much the same. And this is interesting. This guy put this in there. Actually, it works pretty good. I'm going to swap it out, and I'll probably have to seal that wood on that deck around there too. Uh, I had already resealed these deck covers, uh, deck plates, and put new ones in it. And this is being thrown in the trash. Get me a little deck plate to put there, a little drain, drain down the build the stuff that doesn't drain out of the scupper holes. Hey YouTubers. Alright, it's been a few days since I replaced these through holes and scuppers. And looks like 5200 is setting up. Probably should have used 4200, but I don't care. And looks good on the inside. You can see that. Looks like somebody got crazy with a 5200. That would be moi. I'll clean that up a little bit with some acetone. I still got to do something with that. I'm going to go to Bass Pro Shop today. Maybe I can find me a little deck drain and take that out of there, seal it up. What I did back here. <clears throat> What I did back here was, uh, if you recall, I saw a little crack in the sealant so on the old ones. So I 
pulled them out and I noticed just a little moisture in the wood there because this does have a wooden transom. This is a 2005 model Kenner. And um, I took my pocket knife and got some of the screwed up wood out of it. It wasn't much. I let it dry out, messed with it again. Then I thinned some some resin with some acetone, made a kind of a penetrating resin. Smeared it all in there real good. Soaked that wood real real well. It was still it was real hard. And then um, the through holes, if you recall, didn't go all the way through. Well, mine come all the way through. I don't know if you can see that in there, but um, all he had was this outer this outer piece right here, and it lacked about that much coming all the way out, which wasn't cool. And it didn't have too much sealant in there, hardly any at all, actually. But uh, he had sealed it well on the inside and outside, so when it finally broke loose, it got a little moisture in there. So I found some through holes that go all the way through, but I had to use these as a kind of a spacer because my hole was so large. So I cut off the back of this, it just goes in about this much. But this one, the center one, goes comes all the way through, it comes out flush with the back of the transom. And uh, of course this has got a gasket on it and I'll 5200 that and it's all ready to go. It's been sitting for almost a week. Feels pretty good. Looks like I got a little of my blue paper towel stuck in there, but adds character. The boat's blue any blue and white anyway. And the other one, I got a lot more of my blue paper towel. It looks like I screw this one on just a tiny bit sideways, but hell, the boat's never level in the water anyway. It'll, it'll be fine. The only thing I did notice was that because I used a smaller hole, it's a little higher. I'm going to get a little more water in it before it starts running out. But that's what this deck drain, I guess that's what the previous owner had put that in there for. Um, <laughs> that sink drain, that's, that's, that's real ghetto. <laughs> but heck, damn thing works. But I'll stick a regular deck plate on there. And uh, I'll have to seal around here seal the wood right there like I did in these when I replaced these access hatches. So, looks like we're good to go and uh, looks like Hackberry is on the agenda coming up here in a couple of weeks. I might take it out tomorrow, see how she does. Until next time guys, this is Blues Guitar 49. Adios.